Have you ever wanted to build a web or mobile application without the hassle of setting up a complex development environment? What if I told you that you could do it all from your browser with AI Assistant at your fingertips? Today we're exploring Google's Project IDX, a cloud-based IDE that simplifies the development process and enhances your coding experience. Let's dive in. Welcome back to EduHub AI. Today we're diving into Google's Project IDX. We'll guide you through the initial setup, enabling AI features, and exploring the various templates available for your projects. Before we jump into the demo, let's talk a bit about the Project IDX. Project IDX is an integrated development environment that runs entirely in the cloud, allowing developers to build, manage, and deploy applications using popular frameworks like Angular, Flutter, Django, and React, all from your browser. With Project IDX, you don't have to worry about setting up development environments on your local machine. Everything is pre-configured and ready to go. Plus, it leverages Google's AI capabilities to provide code suggestions, completions, and even help with debugging, making your development process more efficient. Whether you're building a personal project or working on a team application, IDX has the tools you need. Now let's get started. Now that we have good understanding of what Project IDX offers, let's dive into the initial setup process. This is where we will get everything ready to start building our project. First, let's sign up for the Project IDX. We need to go to idx.dev and let's get started. Click this one and click continue. And we are going to enable AI features and continue. Great job on setting up your Project IDX account and enabling the AI features. Now that we have the foundation in place, let's jump into our first demo. For the first demo, we'll create a simple Python web scraper. Web scraping is a powerful technique for extracting data from websites and it can be incredibly useful for data collection and analysis. For our first demo, we'll create a simple Python web scraper. I'll create a new project in Project IDX. Let's go to template and then scroll down and from here blank works. And here we're going to uh, create a virtual environment, okay? Python 3. Pi. Okay, so let's open it. Now I will just copy and paste the script that I created earlier. Let's run it Python 3 scraper.py. I need to enter um, a URL edohubai.com. Okay, so basically I'm uh, scraping this page this is my page as well let's run it i'm going to make the, the page a bit bigger elevate your learning experience with edhub Ed ai uh, elevate your learning experience with edhub ai awesome we've successfully created the web scraper using python 
Project IDX made it super easy to set everything up without any local installations. Feel free to experiment with different URLs and explore the possibilities of web scraping. Now let's move on to our next project where we'll create a simple web app that automatically generates a portfolio page using a Gemini prompt. Okay, let's see all the templates and I'm going to choose simple HTML. I will call it simple web app. And the page is ready and then there's a button here it's not functional right now but if you want you can trigger something with this button now what i'm going to do is i will show you how to use gemini here okay so as you see there is gemini here chat with gemini now i'm going to uh, enable it and let's click continue now gemini is ready i'm going to ask i want to create a portfolio page in HTML only. Here is the entire uh, code. So I want to just replace this code with this newly generated code. There are two ways I can copy and paste. I can simply copy and paste here or or I can simply click here and it will insert the entire code here so now that the code is ready I will save it control s or I can save it here save let's refresh the page as you can see the portfolio page has been generated using Gemini prompt and uh, if you want to take a look at the key sections, for example, here we have your name. You can, uh, you can go here, let's drag it right here. You can update it so you can rename your project. You can write your name, okay? So you can change the text here. So it's totally up to you. This showcases the ease of creating a portfolio page with AI assistance. Project IDX allows us to quickly generate professional looking content without any hassle. That was a fantastic demonstration of how to leverage AI for web development. Next up, we have a Gemini API backend using Flask. Let's see how we can set it up and get started. All right. So for this demo, I will create a new project in, Pro uh, in Project IDX and I will select Python template, okay? So let's go here, backend. I'll go to Gemini API and Python back backend. Let's create. See our uh, app is up and running we have the code here we have the page here what we need to do is we need uh, an api key here okay we need to create a gemini api uh, key and let's visit this page right copy it right and here we are in google ai studio all right so we need to create a a new API or if you already have an existing one you can use it for example I have a couple of API's here but if you don't have one you can create a, a new one here okay so uh, I'm going to create a new API this is my API now I will copy this one here and go back here and here I'm going to delete this and paste it here Let's save our file. Okay, let's refresh the page. So our page is ready. So now uh, in this page, what, what can we do here? All right, so uh, under this uh, web uh, folder, we have three images here. They're here. So let's select one of them and we can provide an example. We can just prompt it here, whatever you prompt, and we will see the, the result. In this case, provide an example recipe for ba baked goods uh, in the image. I'm going to select this one and let's click here 
and uh, now we will see if it will work yes it is working uh, it is pumpkin seed bread you know it uh, recognized the image and then uh, it gave us the ingredients what if i choose this one okay and uh, so here red velvet cupcakes with cream cheese now that we have seen how to create an image to text converter, let's take a step further and build a fuller mobile app that showcases the ease of the has been created with a demo app as you see the code is here all the update and configuration everything is automatically done in a moment our app will be ready yes as you see it's it's working right now this is the the, the web version of the app and this is the android version of the app okay the app has successfully responded to the button press Thanks to Project IDX, we were able to build this mobile app quickly and efficiently, demonstrating the simplicity of mobile development. That was an exciting demo showcasing how to run a pre-written Flutter app using Project IDX. Let's wrap up and recap what we have learned today. To recap, we have explored several exciting demos today, from a simple Python web scraper to Django app and more. Each project showcases the versatility of the modern development tools and frameworks. I encourage you to explore these technologies further and try building your own applications. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and leave your comments with your thoughts or questions. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.